Is creativity the act of making something totally new, something never seen before? Or can it involve modifications of someone else's work? What about reappropriating or combining existing pieces from previous creations? If you ask a company like Disney, almost any kind of use of Mickey Mouse is copyright infringement. However, if you ask a DJ or an animated music video artist about it, you will find them very open to the idea of reappropriation. When it comes to new technologies, the line between borrowing and stealing has blurred considerably, allowing room for an open exchange of creative ideas. Called remixing, it caters to all the possibilities in between creation and appropriation. It's the recombination of one concept, regardless of whether it's an intangible idea or an existing piece of media, to create something new. Let's explore this through a large community of young creators, the Scratch Online Community, where remixing is not only possible, it is positively encouraged. In this community, kids can freely create, share, and discuss video games and animations built using a relatively easy graphical programming language called Scratch. They can play, download, and change the source code of any project, with almost 30% being remixes of other people's work. Of these, 19% are exact copies of the original, often functioning as a sort of experimental first try of Scratch. The productive aspect of remixing means that even a simple project can lead to many more complex ones. Let's watch how one example progressed. It started with a simple game named Jumping Monkey. The creator posted her project with a request for help with the programming. A second user made some suggestions and felt inspired by the original premise. He quickly made a remix, first adding a few simple mods, and then went on to restructure the idea into a fully-fledged scrolling game. He credited the original game as a necessary catalyst by saying, I'd never have started this if it wasn't for her Jumping Monkey. His few simple mods created a ripple effect of their own. Another community user adapted the techniques into a third game, something new and innovative, which then inspired another user to make another sophisticated remix that pulled in more than 15,000 views and motivated an additional 21 remixes. One uncomplicated project led to several more complex variations. Examining remarkable stories like this allows a greater insight into how social media phenomena develop and how their influence spreads through the various social networks. The same process that occurs with games in the Scratch community can be seen in multiple contexts, like internet memes. These are the cultural genes of the virtual world. Within the Scratch online community, we look closely at grassroots media franchises, which not only enhance the culture of Scratch, but also inspire a rich variety of remixing. Much like professional movie or TV producers, some community users have created popular media franchises, built new cultural materials, and inspired a host of creative remixes. A neat example of this is a user named Astro. As the creator of literally hundreds of projects, Astro has fast become the impetus for more than a thousand remixes, inspiring many fan clubs and galleries and creating a new art style with his stick figures. Most remixes are merely tweaks, personal customization by other users, but many users take it much further. One even used Astro's graphics to create a template, then invited others to remix and add their own characters. We call this crowd remixing explicitly inviting remixing through suggestions. Many other users animate the Astro characters into creations of their own design, his current iconic status conjuring up projects on what it would be like to meet him or be one of his characters. Astro shows that Scratchers can have unlimited potential. Scratch's open support for remixing encourages kids to learn from others, reuse components, collaborate in groups, and be part of many cultural trends. We have seen in this video that remixing can take many different forms. One simple project can generate paths to other complex and well-acclaimed ones, as in Jumping Monkey. And a regular kid can become a media franchise producer and a creative model for the community, as with Astro.